Welcome everybody to another installment of the Spring Edition of Feeding Value. I'm John Jeffrey with Bizyme. I'm the leader of our beef platform and our Vita firm and GainSmart products. Today I'm with Charlie Cummings. Charlie's not only a friend, uh, but also main man in the block at Superior with Ralph. And you're an everyday cattle producer just like the rest of us. So you're involved not only from a cow-calf operation, but to a stalker and backgrounding situation in the summertime. You buy and sell commodity feed and use it and use our mineral. Use several of our products. So to start the thing off and just got our discussion kicked off, let's just talk about Superior and what is the value of the producer selling on Superior? What does that bring to them in terms of adding value to their operations? Yeah, you know, that, that that's a great question what, and well-rounded as well. And, uh, you know, in my tenure at Superior, starting here in uh, 2010 and, and coming in, before that, prior to that, a little bit of my back history is is that I've always sold with Superior, and uh, I started selling with Superior. Number one is because it's it's easy on the cattle. Uh, we're all about stress free handling <clears throat> on our ranch, and we're all about shrink and keeping that at a minimum. And uh, so that's why that's why we went with Superior in the beginning. And then one thing about Superior that I like is the buyer base. It's a huge buyer base. You can build a reputation uh, with your own ranch personally. And, uh, you know, and then Spear brought on the vaccination programs and there was value added through that. And so the many reasons that add up uh, to sell on Spear, but the main one I feel like is that it's, it's, it's awesome on the cattle. It's, it's great for the cattle as well as, you know, when you're just doing a 2% or 3% pencil shrink, you're saving that pounds and putting that pounds into a black checkbook. So... You mentioned the, the value added ways to sell your cattle from vaccine programs mm -hmm. to your genetics uh, to even utilizing Vitafirm and GainSmart products. Also, GAP and all natural cattle in HTC, which we're natural fit for because some of the technologies that we typically have used to add performance to our cattle, you can't use. Uh, we talk about the factory cattlemen, but we're really grass farmers. We're yes, trying sir. to maximize the grass to our potential to get yes, the most sir. weight to sell every day. And it's really important you're set in that block. So let's talk about some of those value-added programs and what they what they mean in terms of value when you're setting in the block selling cattle. You know, you the value-added programs are just jumped leaps and bounds as we know over the last, you know, six, seven years, but probably over the last two years for what we're seeing, you know, people want to know the general public wants to know when the housewife seems like to me she wants to know what she's getting on her table and she wants that product to be safe uh, the whole family wants it to be safe and and for what superior is added and what's come forth from safe foods to all the way to the gap programs to what's going on to the value added nutritional programs you know that we're we're supplying a better product and and that's the goal as the american rancher like you say we we are grass farmers but at the same time when we're farming that grass and what we're putting forth on the plate is is where the value's at and what these value added programs what they've put forth to the cattle and what these people are taking i mean it's there's 17 to 19 to 21 dollars a hundred difference on cattle that that's on a program right so as a company wearing my buys i'm at and having this conversation uh our proprietary fed through microbial hammer firms and everything that we make and I mean, that's a huge part of what we do. Uh, they, Katie laughed at me one time while we were live on TV and I said, well, it's the secret sauce. It's like on a McDonald's Big Mac. But beyond that, the, the nutrition that we bring to the table, just in the formulations of our mineral, trying to buy our ingredients from the same vendors all the time. We don't least cost formulate. We don't cut corners. We try to provide the best, most wholesome product to put it in and then we put Amifirm in. So talking about products, what products have you utilized in your operation and what benefits have you seen and can you speak to some of that? Yeah, on the cow-calf side, uh, I started out, I had a real uh, couple of tough years uh, with some trick at first and then we got rid of all that and then we come in and uh, we we're looking at uh, conception rates and the conception rate just wasn't where it needed to be. Um, you know, coming into the end of, we don't feed a lot of hay, we're kind of a non-hay program unless it gets really really we get snow covered our grass gets snow covered so 
sometimes when those cows are coming in to that 28 to 60 day postpartum and we really need something uh, for them, they wasn't really getting it protein wise. So we started with the concept aid and uh, so, and conception rate just was like 14% higher the first year that we fed it. Um, and probably be safer to say it was a lot higher in that second year because we got started earlier and got on the program a, a little earlier with concept aid. So that's where we started at. Um, I buy some cows and just turn them out and sell them back in the fall. And so we used heat mineral on some of those cows. And I had a couple set of red and charlet cows that were right next to each other uh, in a piece of grass. And then I had the black cows and I was giving them the heat. And the consumption rate on it's not outrageous, which is really from a producer standpoint and production standpoint, that's very important. But not only that, those cattle are out grazing and the flies is at a minimum and looks like the cow's out working for me. Um, on our stalker program, uh, I mean, we start buying those cattle the 1st of January and we gra graze them. They go to custom grass in April, uh, two years ago and last year both. We run a little trial of our own and had 300 yearlings on one side of the fence and three across the road, about four miles up the road. Uh, same type of grass, same type of program. Uh, we implanted those heifers. Uh, we wormed them to long range, did all the program. One set of them, we put them on GainSmart, and the other set we used just a generic custom mineral uh, blend that we had been getting made that actually had 5,600 grams of CTC in it. The cattle that was on the GainSmart gained almost four tenths of a pound more per day. So I had 2.1 gain on one set of them and 2.5 on the other set. When you start figuring that four tenths a gain on, on, 100, year, on 100 days, on 100 days, you know, being right at those, those cattle were from after shrink pay weight were 48 to 52 pounds a head bigger. And, you know, last year that was about 56 on an 800 pound heifer. You start figuring that it's like 48, $49 a head profit more. So, that's been my experience with the Gain Smart, and now we use, now we use it. Uh, we don't put it out free choice when we're starting the cattle. We use it in the mixer, in our TMR, and put it out that way. And it seems to be the consumption rate right. And it, it, not only that, but I think this year's cattle probably look as good as they ever have because winter's been so nice. But I think those cattle's consumption here in a couple three weeks. Actually, they're hauling some out today, the twenty first. So here in a couple three weeks, we'll be able to tell what the consumption is on those cattle that we've had in the mixer. So we're excited to see how it's going to work that route. We uh, we often talk about uh, that when you buy something from us, you get more than just a mineral. You get Amiferm, so you get two things in in one bag. Uh, when I do producer meetings, I I try to engage the folks and it be more interactive and it's be more like teaching class than me just telling them telling them everything that's on a slide. And so one of the questions I always ask is, do you know what makes a ruminant animal unique? Well, of course, usually the first response is, well, they have four, com four parts, compartments to their stomach. But really what makes a ruminant unique is they can make their own protein. Mm -hmm. Well, microbial pro that's called microbial protein, and it's 80% usable, where the fed-through protein that we provide is only 40 to 60% usable. So that's where Amifirm comes into the situation in terms of improvement in intake, digestibility, and absorption rate of nutrients. So basically, we just help take whatever we feed them, prepare it so the bacteria has more places to attach and feed, which consequently increases microbial protein production by over 30%. It increases volatile fatty acid production by 16% and absorption rate of nutrients by 30. So if you look at feeding a bag of our mineral to your cows and four ounces of consumption, it's like replacing a pound of corn and a pound of soybeans mm -hmm. every day to those animals. So we talk about value or return on investment or however you would look at putting more money back into your operation or value in your pocket, there's lots of different ways for us to look at the value that Amifirm brings to an operation. We can look at your hay pile. We can look at gaining weight on your stalker calves. We can talk about the replacement of providing that mineral in the corn and the soybean. Well, one thing we haven't talked about is health. So can you speak to the benefits of intestinal health and what that means to decreasing the amount of antibiotics that you have to use. And have you experienced that, and do you know what that's meant to your operation? Yeah, definitely. And I I think 90% of that comes into in our receiving pens. <clears throat> We're using the tubs, and those cattle just take off. I mean, if they're not at the bunk, something's wrong, and we know that. 
and when you're coming in and, and we're getting that right in front of them and getting them going, there's we've got some cattle this year out of the west and unfortunately it's dry in that country and some of those cattle have been a little thin, a little poor, uh, not so much neglected, but the hair coat just don't look like it should. And those cattle that come to the bunk, you know, within four to five days, you can tell a change in them. And, you know, I, I had a set of cows <clears throat> this last winter that were bred that I sent to dry grass and I didn't send mineral. And they come home to calve and it was like rut row moment because of the way that gut's working. And, and so oftentimes as a producer and a rancher, you know, I, I sit back and body score those things and look at them and, you know, take care of them to the best of your ability. But when you don't think about what's going inside that ruminant and what's going inside that gut and what's happening, you know, it, it leads up to the complete performance. Well, and we know that body condition scores are directly related to the number yeah. of cows you're going to get bred. Yep. And that's the hammer firm advantage that yes, we deliver in our products. So let's talk about performance it pays. So everybody always asks us, well, how much more will we get for our cattle if they have this logo or if they have this badge? We know that, that you have to look at value two ways. There's, there's two sides of that coin. Will somebody give more for a set of cattle because they have X logo or badge on them? Yes, that can have an influence, but let's look at the other side of the coin. So let's talk about when you're in the block selling cattle and you've got 500 pound cattle versus five and a quarter weight cattle, and we know that on average we'll increase uh, gain by a quarter pound a day. So if you typically have been selling them and they're weighing five, but you can add 25 pounds back to your scenario before, what's an extra four tenths of a pound a day for 100 days, that, that price given in that window is not going to be significantly different at all. It may be the same. Talk about just how many dollars that is in somebody's pocket, just in terms of performance. Well, that's probably the bottom line of the program, uh, in my opinion. When it comes to the GainSmart program, the whole entire Vitafirm program, the whole entire what Superior Bill, you, you know, with the nutritional program around that is, and like I mentioned earlier, when we, we start talking about vaccination protocols, you know, the first guy got on a VAC 24 and he, he, he was paid 3 to $5 a hundred more. And then there's VAC... 34s, and then VAC 34 pluses, and then VAC 45s. And each one of those programs, being CAS, being Wean, being the whole step of that, there's a dollar per hundred out of that. We sell cattle by the pound, so we want more dollars per hundred. And we as a producer, when you come out and you show me what this stuff's costing, what it is, whether it's vaccinations, whether it's feed, whether it's mineral, whatever it is, implants, whatever it is, it's got to be a dollars per hundred. We want to see it right now. And I think that's probably the beautiful thing about the Vi Vitafirm and about the whole entire Biozyme product is that people ask me and customers ask me all the time and I ask myself all the time, am I actually getting paid for this on the auction block? And from the auctioneer standpoint, when we, you know, you start talking about naturals and natural pluses and all the vaccination programs and you start talking about GAP and beef care and the whole nine yards, you're going to see, you're going to see an increase in dollars per hundred. That's going to show dollars per head. Where I think it comes in with the nutritional added is in the end. I mean, the guy that bought my yearling heifers last year, he knows exactly what they are. He's already trying to talk me into basins trading them. We're already talking about where I'm going to market them. He wants them. And that's when it comes back around because you build that reputation. Those cattle hit the bunk at the next guy's level, whether you're whether we're classifying as a five weight calf or whether we're classifying as a yearling. Those cattle are hitting the bunk, they're eating and they're ready to roll and that's what they want. I mean death losses is, is I mean, that's a shot in the foot in, in this business. With the cow with the cow it's an open cow and with the calf going to the stalker guy it's it's health issues and losses and feed yards is health and loss as well. But from my perspective, from what I see, the money comes and the true dollar value comes when you build a reputation that a guy wants your cattle because what you've done is right and the money comes in pounds. And so you may not see it right now on sale day from the auctioneer, from the auction block, or from the buyer standpoint. They're, those buyers, when they see them and know them, they're going to want them. And so 
Dan, when you go to weigh up, like you said, I've been selling my calves weighing 500, and all of a sudden they weigh five and a quarter. My eight weight heifer's supposed to weigh 800. One set weighed 796. The other one weighed 846. Well, there's right there. It don't take very long to figure a slide that there's pretty good value in that. And so it's hard to sell it from an auctioneer standpoint, saying you got to get them on. You got to get the logo thrown up. You got to be on. Yes, you need the logo. Yes, they need to be in that program when you're selling them that way. But I'm, I'm not going to guarantee you you're going to see dollars per hundred. You're going to see pounds. You're going to see reputation. You're going to have buyers that are going to say, what have you been doing to these cattle? Why does their hair coat look the way it does? Why do they feel the way they feel? And, and you know, even from the manure perspective, it's just phenomenal what's going, in, what's going on inside that room because of the infer. Yeah, well, they just, we help them take what you feed them and make it better. Yeah. I often tell people we can take, we can make bad feed good and good feed great. Um, especially right now, let's talk about value in terms of, well, economically, everything's costing more. We're in drought in a lot of areas. The impact of what a feed additive like Amifirm can bring to the table in terms of efficiency and utilizing what we're feeding them more effectively and efficiently, not having to feed as much to get the same output. How do we encourage people to change their mindset from, I've got to cut the cost up front because I'm going to make more money at the end. In reality, now's not the time to be cutting things. You need to put, the inputs need to be good because you're still selling pounds. Now, at the end of the day, does that mean that they're going to make more money? Hopefully, but right now the economic climate is, how do I make enough money or how do I lose the least amount of money? And that's a hard way to think about it, but that makes me sustainable to stay in business. You know, we can lose a little bit and continue to keep going. When we take a huge hickeys, when we're backed up in the mm -hmm. corner, we can't get out. Mm -hmm. So how do we effectively send that message to the guys that you deal with when you're rep repping cattle for them? The guys that I talk to that are ranchers trying to get them to use these products, they're selling cattle on Superior, and especially those that are conscientious enough to be in those programs like NHDC, GAP, Beef Care. They're trying to do the right things, and there's technology they can't use, but they can use Amifirm to get some of those performance advantages back. How do you think we best address those folks? You know, I, the first thing that comes to my mind is it's a relationship. You know, you got to you got to have a relationship and you got to have a trust. Uh, you know, it, it goes back to even a producer says, hey, I'm going to need a couple bulls. And, and I'm fortunate enough to sell several purebred sales uh, throughout the spring and fall both. And so I bought him a couple bulls. He really didn't put me on a budget. And I was way over his budget. But I bought him some growth high power bulls. Right. And he's having calves out of them. He's like, you're not going to believe the difference. And I said, oh, yeah, I, I can believe it. And so then now he's going to come back, I feel, next March and say, hey, go ahead and step to the next tier. Because when we win calves this fall, you're going to see the difference. And it's the difference in pulling a mixer around with a two-wheel drive tractor. It don't take very long, and you're going to want a front-wheel assist. It just is what it is. And if they can see the difference and know the difference, and that's the way it was for me because I'm a, I'm – Pinch pennies. Obviously, I uh, try not to feed hay and try not to feed as less protein as I can. And when it was noticeable to me that fast, I mean, literally, when the consumption was like it was supposed to, we got the consumption to where it was like it was supposed to be, and that takes some time. I mean, it ain't, it's no different than somebody that's been on a 72 hour fast. You take them to a Mexican restaurant, you're in trouble. I that's mean, exactly, that's they, right, yeah. They're going <laughs> they, they to eat as much as they can, right, right, on your dollar. And that's them cows will be the same. I mean, the cows, it takes them a minute to get them to, to around that corner. But once you get the consumption like it's supposed to be, you it's it's indescribable. So I think what what they have to, what we have to understand and, and see is that they have to witness for themselves. And change is the best thing. And, and we know in our industry, change is something that's hard for folks to do sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. back to your scenario with the bull deal. Basically, you said relationships. So really, we need to become a trusted consultant in their operations. Mm -hmm. And I think when we stand every January at the awards banquet, 
for the guys that are reps yeah. or superior, and you yeah. look who's standing on that stage, the, those guys are more than just the rep for their cattle. They are a trusted consultant. Yeah. Genetic on their genetics, on their nutrition programs, they're actually working with those folks to try to help them do everything they possibly can mm -hmm. because it makes their job easier at the end of the day 100%. when they sell those cattle. And that's what makes them the guys on the stage. They're 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 more than just I'm on a commission check. I'm yep. I'm really here to invest in your yep. business. Yep. And I feel like from my perspective and what I do for our company and what the ASMs in the field do we need to become that trusted consultant that people would trust enough to at least try our products to find out exactly what they do and how they work. No different than when this program started, and I started with you and Mark and all the conversations and 5,000 questions. And yep. I mean, y'all skimmed me alive trying to figure out <laughs> how not to feed it. How not to feed it and why, why I was full of bull. Right. But at the end of the day, we we found out that I'm, that I'm not. Yeah. So right. I've had the conversation before. I, it's kind of like the old Life Zero commercial. I just need some Mikeys. I just need some people to try it. If yes. you'll just try it, yeah, we can bring the value to them. Yeah, and, uh, you know, on the cost side of it, and not so much just in the beginning, but, you know, it, I can go find and make a cheap mineral. It's not difficult. No. I mean, it's a little bit more difficult now because we're getting so much of the stuff from overseas and it's going to become tough here for a minute probably. But the the cost of the gain smart or the cost of the conceptate for what it does is very minimal when it comes back per animal when you're talking about live calf on the ground and when you're talking about pounds gained. That's where, to me, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like you just look at it and go, it's a no-brainer. But you look at That's it. That's like one of our slogans still is that we use, what's one more worth? Yes. Exactly, and and that's that's a hundred percent. That's exactly what it is. I mean, no different than I tell my son when he's going to take the ACT for the second time. If you just get three more of those math questions that you hate right, you're going to score six, five to six points higher, and that's what you're after. And it's the same way when we feed the right mineral and do the right things. That three dollars a bag or nine dollars a bag, depending on what it is, whether it's higher or cheaper or the same. And with the Amifirm and what's in it, I mean, it it comes together and makes money. So we, you know, we focus a lot on, on the cow side here, but we sometimes we forget that everybody that owns a cow generally owns a horse and they probably have a dog. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I forget to tell people, you know, if you want your, any animal you have on your place to receive Amifirm, hey, we've got a delivery mechanism for that. We've got our Durafirm line for sheep and goats. We've got Vitalize for horse and dogs. Got the Gain Smart and the Vita Firm for your cattle. We've got products for your show animals. We've got products that are multi species and are some of our drenches and our gels. So, not only can we have an impact on a cattle operation, we can impact the, the family pet, and that's important. I had, we had a ship, my daughter had a show steer that would not turn the corner. I mean, we could, I could not get him to get above 1,300, and he needed to weigh 14 something. We had about 20 days left. And I Vita charged him, and we started Gain Smart in the feed, and started to show feed, and we weighed thirteen ninety three checking in. I mean, it's yeah, it'll get him to eat and drink. Yeah, that, and that's one of the and big the things. Hair, the, the big thing was the hair coat on him, the way it changed. Well, I tell people my my first, uh, I started in February, and I was at my first Oklahoma Youth Expo in March, and. And we had a booth, and I had some Vita Charge boost, and I had people coming by, and I'd squirt some in a cup, and I'd drink it, and they'd just freak out because I actually took it. And I said, well, there's nothing that can hurt me. So they started asking lots of questions. Well, one of the questions you always get from show people is, well, does it grow hair? And I'm like, well, hey, you know, we haven't done a research on hair right. growth, but animals are no different than you and I. Yeah. If we were drinking clean water, we're taking our vitamins and our minerals like we're supposed to. We have a healthy diet and we're exercising. Well, what are the indicators of that? Our fingernails grow faster, our hair grows faster, our eyes are brighter, our skin looks better. Animals are no different. When we're, when we're doing the right thing and we're mm -hmm. helping them utilize what you feed them, those external indicators are there for us to see. When we talk about other livestock species, you can quickly, quickly see it in a horse faster than you can in yep. anything. Yep. It's just it, that really immediate. Yep. And, right and even if someone doesn't have a trained eye for livestock, if you show them a horse when you start and 21 days later, they mm -hmm. can even tell the difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Well, I think we kind of covered a lot of things that are important to what we're doing with our partnership with Superior and our program. We know it's grown. Uh, we had the most cattle we've ever had last year at 55,000. Uh, so the percentage of the number of cattle that were sold is creeping up. Uh, Beth's supposed to be running the numbers for me to look at where we are this year versus this same time last year. I feel very confident that we're way ahead. I agree. So I think we're starting to make an impact. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, so right. uh, it's probably not moved as fast as some of us would like to, but slowly but surely we're, we're gaining. So, Definitely. Charlie, we appreciate your time. We Thank appreciate you. your friendship. Uh, look forward to the summer run with all the sales. We'll get to see a lot of countries, a lot of, a lot of people. <laughs> Go back to some of the same watering holes. Uh, may even get a t-shirt from the mint bar. Now you're working. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, folks, we really appreciate you tuning in to this installment of the uh, spring edition of a Feeding Value. Uh, if you'd like to get more information about Bizyme and our products, go to bizymeinc.com. Uh, you can find your local representatives there. You can also find me and some of our other management folks on our uh, beef development and development teams for the different livestock species. We really appreciate your business and your time. Have a great spring and happy trails.